We just finished up the uh, install of a full Victron system on this uh, caravan behind me. Had a BM Pro full system, we just removed that and put a Victron system in. So let's uh, jump into it and check it out. Yeah, I'm overzealous when I'm thinking about the cash flow. I never had no handouts, just came natural. I've been testing so much, all these wrestlers nice. All these different situations that I've been through. I seen pain trying to creep in through the window. But now I'm sliding through the hood in a bit. Uh, so we put a DC DC inside. So to do that, we just had to run a new charge harness. So uh, this one's actually got a three-way on it because it's got an ignition trigger. Uh, just because of the vehicle that's going to be towing it, they just need to ignition trigger it because uh, of a smart alternator, so that's why this has got the three-way in it. Uh, and then that just goes inside to the Orion. And then just on the roof, uh, they originally had a 120-watt panel, uh, and we've now got five 200-watt panels up there. So we've got quite a lot more solar, uh, so they should be able to stay off-grid for some extended periods of time with all that extra solar charge. That's pretty much everything we've done on the outside here, so we'll jump inside and check that out. Uh, so here is just the original system that the van had, so it's just the BM Pro system. The, probably the big downside to this is it just makes it very difficult to add on in the future. So if you want to add an inverter um, and then still talk to the system, it's quite difficult to do it. And then if you ever want to add extra power, uh, like solar charge coming in, this is pretty much like, uh, yeah, very limited to what it can and can't do. So then it just makes it difficult to be able to see everything on its original screen. So that's why the customers opted just to remove all this and then replace it with a full Victron system. And that way everything will just talk to it and you'll be able to see everything on the Touch 50. So this was just underneath the bed um, behind us. And then um, we've just gone ahead and ripped it all out and then made this new system back here. So everything's housed just under the um, bed here. And we just tried to condense as much as possible just to allow them to sort of have a bit of storage space under here. So just at the back is the 3 kVA multi plus inverter charger. That's pretty much uh, like a must have for most caravans these days if you want to go off grid. It just handles all your AC power for you, uh, including the incoming charge and then all your outputs as well. So it's a pretty handy system. It's probably like one of the best when it comes to actual caravans. And we are seeing quite a lot of caravans now are starting to come with Victron stuff because yeah, you just can't really beat it when it comes to AC. It just handles everything. You haven't got to worry about switching anything over. And it's got the biggest AC charger out of all of them. So I think, so like the Red Arc one, I think is the biggest is like a 30 amp charger, uh, where this one here has got a 120 amp. So it's quite a lot of extra charge and just out, allows you to be able to charge your batteries up quite a lot quicker. So located next to that is just the Orion DC DC charger. It's just a 50 amp uh, DC DC charger. So as soon as they plug in, um, from their car, they'll get 15 hours of charge coming into the battery. And then located next to that is one of the MPPTs for the solar on top. So we put two strings in because there was five panels. So three are in series and then two others are in series. So the three that are in series are going to the 150 and then the two are just going to the 7515. And then located just underneath that is the servo. Obviously everything talks to the servo and then that just relays that information up to the Touch 50 screen just allowing you to be able to view everything and then also control uh, the MultiPlus as well. And then just located just next to that, it's just all your fuses. Everything's labeled, so if you have any dramas, you'll know straight away what the problem is. You can just check that fuse and then you're good to go. And then above that is just the 500 amp Victron Smart Shunt. Located behind that is then just two 200 amp hour Amtron batteries. And then that's just in the um, dual battery compartment. So all uh, batteries inside of habitable spaces have to be in a battery compartment to comply with the ASNZ3000 uh, standards. So that's just housed in that now. And then that way it's vented to the outside. So you don't have no dramas with um, any ventilation inside of habitable spaces. That's pretty much everything under the bed. Uh, and then we'll just jump up here and then check out the Touch 50. So this was just the original solar panel that was fitted up there. They just had that one 120 watt. Uh, so we just removed that and just put all 200 watts up there. Uh, the solar panels are similar to batteries. You can't mix them together. So if you've got a 200 watt panel and a 120 watt panel, if you put them together, basically just derates that 200 watt panel down to 120. So that's why we just removed it and just put all 200s up there. That way they're all the same and then you get no issue with derating. Same as batteries, you just don't want to mix them. So that's why that one's been removed. 
Uh, and then just up here is just where the original control panel was for the BM Pro. I've now obviously replaced that for the Touch 50. And then you can just see everything on here. So you've got your solar charge. When your alternator is connected, you see um, charge coming from the car. Then just all your inverter uh, is controlled through here. And then just below that is just all your battery. You see the percentage. If you discharge, it'll tell you how long you've got left until you're going to run out of power. And then just tells you how much power is coming in or out, including the wattage. And then you can see AC loads and DC loads. One cool feature that Victron's recently done is they recently updated this. Um, so before, all you could ever see was just wattage. So you'd only be able to see, oh, you're getting this much watts from your solar, this much from your alternator, and then how much you're pulling out and watts wise. You now have the ability through the settings to change it to amps. Amps makes a lot more sense for a lot of people. So we typically change it over to the amps so you can see how much amps are coming in and out. Um, but if you wanted to still have the watts, you can just swap it back to the watts. But it's a pretty cool feature to change it to that now. And then you also notice on it that some of these boxes have like a blue square around the outside. If they do, that just means they're clickable. So you can click on it uh, and then you'll be able to open up and you'll be able to get some more information. So that's a nice new feature they've added. Where previously before you'd have to go settings, go to the device list, and then you can see that information. Now it's just a lot easier. You just click on the box and you can get a bit more information about it. So that's a nice little update as well. We've also got the water tanks incorporated into it. So there's got three water tanks, two fresh, one gray. So that's now all integrated into that as well. And then we just program it to suit the actual tank. So what we do is you see what the um, rating is once it's at the bottom, whatever the ohms is, usually it's around 0.3 or 0.4 we set that as dead bottom and then we fully um charge it up and then once it gets to the top and it's fully full we'll usually get to like say 130 120 ohms and then we set that as full and then that just calibrates it to here and then it'll always know what the percentage is at so you just need to use zero to 190 ohm uh senders and then it'll be compatible with the victron system so that's uh just a nice little feature as well that you can see all that you can see temperatures if you ever wanted to add any temperature sensors, it's all just in that levels page there. So located just under the fridge is where the RCD was. So stock standard pretty much with all caravans, they come with one RCD, which is just to protect that incoming shore power. Um, but now that we've got the inverter charger in and we're broken into that, we've just had to remove that and swap it for two RCDs. So same deal, you have the incoming shore power go through to the top of one RCD, then it comes out, it goes to the multi plus, then comes back out, goes to the top of the other RCD, and then from there goes to all your outlets. And then that way all AC power is actually controlled through the multi-plus. So as soon as it sees that shore power come in, it will then stop using the batteries and then utilize the shore power. But then as soon as it cuts off, it'll go back to the battery. So that's why we just have to pull the one RCD out and swap it to the two, and then um, you're good to go. So that's everything on this uh, caravan. Now that's got that thousand watts of solar on the roof, those two 200s with 400 amp hours of lithium power and now that inverter charger this thing's now ready to go off grid so pretty good upgrade to go from that bm pro to this victron system and they're going to have no dramas with getting off grid and being able to stay off grid for extended periods so yeah if you're interested in something similar you can just uh head over to our website uh, and get in contact with us, with us there and uh we'll catch you in the next one. yeah i'm overzealous when i'm thinking about the cash flow i never had no handouts just came natural I've been testing so much, all these restless nights All these different situations that I've been through I seen pain trying to creep in through the window But now I'm sliding through the hood in a benzo You gotta separate yourself just to elevate I keep some drink in my cut to see through the hate Sometimes on the road to glory you gotta pray